Mr. Lopez, sir? Yes. In the government houses, Mr. Lopez, the chairman of the of this committee, is by the accustomed of choosing one. So the microphone to other members of the committee. It gives me great pleasure this morning to welcome uh, the, co the committee that we have just set up as part of our process of transforming and reforming the education system in the Duke. The role of the secretaries, the education secretaries in the local government is so critical and pivotal to the governance arrangement which we have decided to put in place to strengthen the advances and the successes we have recorded in the transformation we have undertaken so far under Edo basic education transform, sector transformation. We have gotten to that critical stage where we are now beginning to institutionalize the, the, the transformation we started two, three years ago. In a few years' time, the children who started with the Dobest will be uh, graduating out of the primary school system. Um, and it therefore means that this transformation which we have started must endure. And it's only going to endure when we have the right personnel, people with the right um, frame of mind, who truly believe in this foundational change which we're making to come and help us in ensuring that there's proper governance and the structures we are putting in place endure. Um, we all know what has happened in the past and how these exercises are undertaken. It's there no, there no objective criteria set because the goals are just assumed, not, they're not as clearly stated as we have done so. So the idea of us putting this team together is part of that transparent process that we have started. Um, a very goal-oriented process where we want education to be devoid of politics. We want education to now be done, uh, structured very, very professionally. So this responsibility is one that's based on trust. It's one that is based on people's experience and understanding of the system. And we, we, we have set you up not because we could not on our own, I could not just I demand a list as governor and just change and put the people I want. No, I could have done that. But I decided to set up, call you together, the representatives of the local government chairman, um, representatives of SUBEP, and under the leadership of an experienced uh, politician, technocrat, administrator, like uh, the person of uh, Barristan Slemochezwa, he's been commissioner before, he, is, uh, he understands how government works. Uh, and I believe that this team will give us the best. They will be they're, they're all people of integrity, and I expect that whatever outcome, whatever you come out with, will be one that we will not have to worry about. And that you'll be very diligent in the screening process and to make sure you give us only the best because only the best is good for the best. On that note, I want to thank you very much for accepting this um, assignment and I hope that you are going to come back to me very, very promptly. I expect this exercise to be completed before the end of this month. Uh, but the earlier, the better. Thank you. For well, this opportunity to serve in this very critical aspect of the process. Your passion for education and the way that it has been prioritized in your government, I believe is legendary. Everybody knows that your first three priorities are education, education, and education. This underscores the importance that I believe we will ascribe to the work of this committee. Therefore, on behalf of my colleagues, I want to assure you, sir, 
there will be no compromise. We will work in accordance with the terms of reference, and we assure you that whatever we produce will meet your expectation. On that note, I want to also congratulate my, my colleagues and to thank you for the opportunity once again. Thank you, Excellency. Good afternoon, everyone.